click on the launch pad, type in ILLU and select Adobe Illustrator. Once it opens up, select create new and then in the categories that are shown, choose print either the, at the icon or in the menu above and choose A4 and click create. Once it creates a new A4 page, we're going to firstly choose the polygon tool. Feel free to pause the video at any point. Now, once you've selected the tool, just click anywhere on the page and where the sides were, choose three and click OK. Now we're going to try and rotate this triangle. So if you right click on it, go to transform and select rotate. And for angle, type in 180 and press OK. We now have a base of the carrot. To move the triangle, select the black arrow, which is the selection tool. And if you click and hold one of the corner handles, you can resize it to make it a bit narrower like I have done here. After that, you want to go to the top right and click on shape. And where that number is, you want to increase it to what I've got there, which is 11 points. And that you'll see that makes it uh, the corners rounded. And I'm resizing it again to look a bit more like a carrot. Next, I've gone in and take, gotten the oval tool. And I'm drawing an oval, like so. And I'm going to use the direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. And I'm going to click on those little dots, those little anchors, and adjust it a little bit to look more like a teardrop leaf shape. After that, we can select the shape with the selection tool, rotate it a little bit, and position it like a carrot top. We want a few more leaves, so we'll copy this shape. So make sure it's selected, and then you click on Edit at the top, and Copy, or Command C, and Paste, Command V. After it's pasted, we right-click on that shape, select Transform, and Reflect, and keep it at vertical, and click OK. And make sure the shape is selected, and we move it up to be next to the first little leaf. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to copy and paste, or we can just paste what we had earlier. This time, we're going to rotate this shape just slightly so that it forms a cute little carrot top. You can resize it. Now we want to merge all these shapes into one. So we are going to select all these shapes. Firstly, position your cursor in a white space on the page. Then click and drag to select all those shapes. Then go up to Window, Pathfinder, and in the panel that appears, click on the first one, which says Unite. And that combines all those shapes into one. We're now going to make this shape appear as though it's in a rectangle with the carrot shape cut out in the middle so that we can superimpose that on top of our um, stacked chart. So the way to do that is as follows. We're going to firstly find a rectangle and draw it. Let's draw the rectangle shape. Um, currently, its fill is set to white and its stroke is black, which is fine. I'm going to move it over to the side for now. Then we're going to select the carrot and change the fill color to transparent, so the, the white square with the red diagonal means no fill. And make sure it's the fill, not the stroke, which is the line. We, we still want the line. Then we're going to right click on there, on the carrot, and click Arrange, and bring to front. Then we're going to place the carrot over the top of the rectangle. After that, select both shapes and choose the second one, Unite Front, in the Pathfinder panel. And you'll notice that it's then combined both shapes together. Then we want to export selection. See how it's got a cutout carrot? And we're going to export. Uh, make sure you choose where you're going to export to so that you can find it afterwards. It could be on your desktop for now. Click choose. 
and export now and it should appear on our desktop in that folder which is called asset1.png and what we'll do is go back to our Google Sheets with our chart and we're going to insert image image like this and browse and choose the one from our desktop And once it once it appears, we're gonna then overlay that carrot over the top of our graph. But if it's it's not quite the right proportion, so we can resize it slightly and move the carrot over the top of it, and it will fit perfectly. Oops, slightly off. So you might need to do a bit of adjustments to make it fit just right. And there we go. And if you want to, you can group this together so that it's just um, the one shape. 